Hey, what the hell's going on, guys? It's Super Player Negative AE, and welcome back to another episode of Higarashi When They Cry. Let's go off that we were at the library for some reason. Um, let's see why we're here. Move from one cold chair to another because the air conditioning was too cold. I moved with my notebook, my pen case with a bunch of keychains, and my cup of milk tea. Did it all in one go. I sat down in a new chair and then opened my notebook again. I scribbled my thoughts and sank into silence. A series of mysterious deaths. Dubbed the curse of Oyashiro sama. I've been viewing each incident as a separate case, even though it was followed by another one. I've never looked at all the cases as part of one big scheme. I have. I've looked at all these games as one big scheme, but I don't know what the twist is. I feel like that's hinting at how you should look at the, the game. The problem is I don't know how to look at it as a big scheme. Maybe they'll explain it to me. After I wrote down all the incidents on paper, it became clear to me that all of them served the same agenda. I wrote down the victims. The first year, the construction site manager. The second year. Satoshi Kun's parents. The third year, the priest. The fourth year, Satoshi Kun's aunt. For the fourth year, one could consider Satoshi Kun himself to be the victim rather than his aunt. If I considered that each case arose from the grudge over the dam conflict, it's quite simple. In the first year, the construction manager was killed because he was a symbol of, for the, of the dam construction itself. Got it, yeah. Of course, the real enemy was the Ministry of Construction, but it wasn't as clear a target. The manager, on the other hand, had been aggressively shouting back at the villagers, so he was a more appropriate enemy to attack. If Oyashiro-sama really ha had really cursed someone, it would have been the officials from the minister, or ministry. It's so apparent that the target was selected based on the villagers' preference. The second year. The accidental death of Satoshi Kun's parents. It said that they fell from a cliff at, in some park, but it's doubtful that it was really an accident. His parents were labeled as traitors and to the village because they sided with the dam construction, even though they were also from Hinamizawa. The Yojo family was ostracized during the dam conflict in order to prevent further pro-dam activists from rising up. That means the Hyojos were necessary during the conflict to play the role of a traitor. So when the conflict was over, it no longer served any purpose. The construction site manager was a, sim was a symbol of the external enemy. The, Hyojo, or the Hyojos, Hojos, I guess. I like the way I pronounce it, which is why I keep pronouncing it that way. <laughs> I do that all the time with random words. I just pronounce it wrong and then it's... Muscle memory, my lips. Um, Hojo were... The Hojos were a symbol of the internal enemy. Those people fell victim to the curse, and it seemed that the grudge of the damn Dom conflict had ended. Yet, those incidents were followed by another one. Third year. The leader of one of the three families, the priest, Frude, suddenly died of an illness with an unknown cause. His wife drowned herself on that same night. She seemed to have left a note that said she was sacrificing herself to pacify Oyashiro-sama's anger. Whether it was a fatal disease or suicide, their death looked suspicious. Mion admitted that the Sonozaki family didn't like the priest's attitude. They didn't like how the priest had been generous towards the pro dam activists. The priest wasn't quite a traitor, but he was certainly uncooperative. Looking at those incidents, I realized that the curse was performed based on the degree of hostility. Enemy, traitor, and dissident. This meant that the curse was actually payment. It was a punishment for the criminals of war. In the fourth year. I didn't understand this case at first, to be honest. At first, I believed this case was dis uh, separate from the other ones, even though it occurred on the same day. I never thought that there would be any real or any relation to the other three. 
but when I wrote it down and looked at it objectively, the victim is a relative of a traitor. That sounds very odd. <laughs> now friend of a traitor. Now whole village. Ooh. Ooh, but that makes fucking sense. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> I just said that jokingly. Wait a second, that makes sense. Yo, I did not even... I legit just said that as a joke. Enemy traitor, dissident, relative of a traitor, friend of a traitor. Which is... But why? But why is that the but why is that the case? That doesn't make that doesn't make any sense why it goes enemy traitor dissident relative of a, tra of a traitor friend of a traitor then the whole town. But that makes sense. Cuz everybody's friends with Rika, right? Everybody likes Rika. So, friend of a traitor and then the whole town, because everybody's friends with her. Does that make sense? But it doesn't make sense. Because why is it in this order? Enemy, traitor, dissident, relative of a traitor? That doesn't make sense. Well, because who dies in the fifth? Because Satoshi-kun gets demoned away, and then Keiichi-kun comes to town. Right. If we're in the timeline with... With, um... Totoko, where the whole town blows up? I don't know. What happens in the other other ones? Do we die before? I don't know. Just like how I was forced to pay at the Sonazaki's has... The criminals were forced to pay as well. It just doesn't make sense how, why it is that way. To me. And it doesn't happen in every chapter. It only happens in that one chapter that the whole town dies. So... Sure. Whether it was Satoshi-kun or the Dopehead, it seemed that they were forced to play the role of a murderer. As a bigger part of bigger scenario, even if Satoshi-kun was the real culprit, even if he killed his aunt because of an ordinary grudge, the murder seemed synchronized with the grand scheme of the series of mysterious deaths in Hinamizawa, which is payment, a payment plan for war criminals. That murder was the result of his pain, but what if somebody planned that as a part of a scenario? I mean, supposedly everything's planned before it started because... I don't know. Because Rika, Rika knows everything. Uh, somebody might have suggested to kill him or kill his aunt on that day, that night, in that place. I had no doubts that Satoshi Kun decided to kill her in order to protect Satoko. But did he really reach that conclusion all on his own? Or on his own? No. No, he didn't. Because we know of the demon that happens to Keiichi when he kills the uncle. Where he kind of like changes his personality almost. Couldn't it be possible for somebody to have chosen the aunt as the fourth year's murder beforehand? Or murder beforehand? And they used Satoshi Kun? And Satoshi Kun was eliminated because his of his connection with them. Looking at it that way, the murder of the first year resembles this case. The main culprit behind that case hasn't been found yet, dead or alive. The other culprits testified that their fight had turned into a slaughter. But wouldn't it be possible that the main culprit had manipulated the situation? What if he had been told to kill someone on that day, at that time, and in that place? Certain. The first murder resembles Satoshi Kun's case very much. Does that mean Satoshi Kun was being controlled by someone else? Uishi had presented me with a hypothesis that the Sonozaki family made Satoshi-kun disappear in order to end my relationship with a murderer. But when I read the notes I wrote down, his disappearance didn't seem too spontaneous. It seemed like part of a bigger plan. As I'd unexpectedly gotten involved in that plan, I said to be separated from him. The Satoshi-kun 
Then Satoshi Kun was deemed away as planned. At first, I also believed that the Sonazaki made him disappear because they didn't like that I was in love with a member of a family of traitors. But something didn't add up. Something felt strange. I wasn't the reason for his disappearance after all. Even if I had never met him in the first place, Satoshi Kun was supposed to kill his aunt in June 1982 and then disappear. At one point, I had been thinking of taking revenge on the hag. I believed that she'd separated us. But what if my relationship with Satoshi Kun had nothing to do with his disappearance? What would that mean? Who made Satoshi Kun disappear? I need to understand the series of mysterious deaths in order to solve this mystery. What did all these deaths mean? Who was behind them and what purpose did they serve? I wanted to know the purpose, the motive, and who was responsible. Who took Satoshi Kun? I wanted to know if he was still alive. Mm. The series of mysterious deaths in Hinamizawa is called Oyashiro-sama's curse. What is that curse? Specifically, what kind of god is Oyashiro-sama? What blessings does he and he bring and what punishments does he dole out? I wrote down my thoughts in the notebook. What's Oyashiro-sama? What is he? I scribbled these down. I was so absorbed by it that I didn't realize somebody had been standing behind me, watching me the whole time. I couldn't stop myself when I from gasping when I realized that. Oh damn! This is a this is a, a situation indeed. Um. I don't know, I don't know Takana-san's motives, so I don't know what she necessarily wants to do. Um, on the fact that, uh, I'm, I'm trying to plot out in my head why it would be enemy. I can understand the enemy part. But then, traitor, which is, okay, sure, traitor. But then it's like, <sighs> dissident, which is, whatever, sure. Like they just don't cooperate, so you got to get rid of them. That's everybody that does that doesn't agree with you, and then relative of traitor for some reason, and then we know later on, or at least in one of the chapters, it goes friend of traitor Rika, and then blow up the whole town. But why? But why is that the case? It. Who and how do they convince the people to kill the people without demons? There's definitely demons. Did I have I said that enough? There's definitely demons. <laughs> is there is there any other explanation to the situation that's happening? Did I startle you? Especially with a soothsayer. If if someone knows everything before it happens, then there's gotta be demons. She could have just apologized a little bit better too since she'd been watching me from behind. She just stared at my face instead. People you've never met before can tell exactly who you are. ごめんなさいね。私の知っているその崎さんは図書館なんかに来るよ。噂に聞いた双子のシオンさんかなと思う。お察しの通り、私はその座どうも初めまして。失礼ですが、どちらさん。あら、ごめんなさいね。自己
お社様のたたりについて研究貴重な出会いだと思うんだけど。She saw my notes. My face reddened. これは私のそう妄想みたいなもの。でたらめです。子供の落書きなんかほっといてください。お社様のたたりと呼ばれる。いずれの事件も個別に見えながら、確実に一つの意思に基づいて行われている。毎年。一人がお社様のたたりにあって死んだ。はな何を急に言い出すんです一人がたたりで死んで。一人が何ですってあなたは何をしてるのあなたは何をしてるのあなたは何をしてるのあなたは何をしてるのあなたは何をしてるのあなたは何をしてるのあなたは何をしてるのそれともまだそこまでには至ってなかったかしら was confused, but I tried to figure out what that meant. Damn construction site manager died in the first year. There's only one victim. In the second year, the victims were the parents of Satoshi Kun. It was two people. The third year, it was the priest. If her death was also planned, his wife, too, again. And this year, the fourth year, Satoshi Kun's aunt died and Satoshi Kun went missing. If Satoshi Kun's disappearance, this, disappearance was planned, the number of victims was two. It's true. Except for the first one, the victims always came in an even number, two. Wait. I had just concluded myself that the first case resembled the fourth one. The main culprit was still missing. He might have been demoned away just like Satoshi Kun. ね、そうでしょう。Yeah, but it doesn't always work like that. Cause, well, I mean, right now it does, but it doesn't. I wasn't quite convinced, but I couldn't deny what she said. I guess she did say it's always even. It doesn't have to be two. So, I see you. I see you. Could be four, or 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 six or eight. な口の聞き方をしてすみませんでした。私のことは。She seemed content that I changed my attitude. She kept giggling for a while. She didn't seem that reliable. I didn't want to be acquainted with her for too long. But I don't get to talk to people very much. And what she said interests me. 改めて、赤のミオ、ミオって呼んでく。よろしくです、ミオさん。私はそのザキシオン、ミオンの双子のシオンと呼んでください。I took the hand that Mio's Mio san held out as a sign of reconciliation. さっきの話を聞かせてください。二人犠牲者が出ると言いましたね。一人がたたりで、もう一人がえっ、ー、とねえ、この話で盛り上がる前に、どうしてこの話に興味があるか聞かせてもらってもいいかしら。He leaned over and looked into my eyes. Mio san, go so. What does no koto, docoma de gozonji de gozonji nara? Oh, yo sono kento, a skunja naika. Sa, nan nenka, toku no zen lio se no ga. So deska. Ja, sozo, what does she got in a yadan yokota, lenzo kais? What does she got yoku wakarana in the jotos ta kyomi hoinde? Naruhodo, kyomi hoinde. Ne. I got the impression that she knew about what happened to me and or to Satoshi Kun and me because she instantly recognized me as Shion, not Mion. I didn't know why I thought that way, as she shouldn't have access to sources like sources that, for instance, Oishi does. It was just the look in her eyes that made me think that way. I don't really know her motives, so I don't know what if she's good or bad. They've done a good job of keeping her out of the loop as well. Uh, Rena, um, Tomitaki san is kind of out of the loop, although he dies, so he kind of, he seems like a good guy. Just because he's the. Anybody that dies seems like a pretty good guy in this game. They were just minding their own business. So I'm thinking Tomitaki's a good guy, but I don't know about Takano because I've seen her killing Tomitaki, I guess. 
And one of the, not necessarily killing him, but insinuating that she had killed him and that she's leaving. Remember that one where we killed the... It, everything kind of happened when we killed the uncle. Like, that's when we learned the most information about anything. Um, and kind of how the demon affects people. <laughs>連続開始事件は確かに通称でおやしろ様のたたりと呼ばれていますなぜたたりを研究すると連続開始事件にまで踏み込むシオンちゃん質問が一度に多すぎるわねそれに何が聞きたいのかややこしくてわかりにくいわ
Yansan looked pleased to hear my questions. She took out another notebook and handed it to me. それはわかるわよね。一応わかる。ダム戦争で村に敵対した人間たちにお社様がそうね。でね。お社様のたたり、もっともっと。だから新職であるフルデ家の歴代当主たちはお社様のたたりがあるたびにそのお怒りを沈
It looked a bit tense when entering my room. It was her first time here. <笑>生活は新しい学校はやっぱりつまらないです。一応通ってはいますけど、気分が乗らない時はサボらせてもらう。全寮制だとなかなかそうはいかないですからね。ごめんご。ケーキ買ってきたからさ、食べよ。<
ごめんサトシのことは本当に知らないの本当バッジャーだって何も知らない本当なの嘘だ嘘だ嘘じゃあ本当に親しろ様のたたりたたりなんてあるもんかたたりなんてあるもんかなんか私は泣いてしまったです。God, there's a lot of stuff that I, that I thought about, but I, but I don't remember if I've mentioned or not. Like,、um, I, I know that I've mentioned because they're twins, it's so hard to tell who's necessarily who, and that maybe Xi'an could be the one that was demon and they just made a mistake at birth. I don't know if I said that in, a, in one of the episodes or not. Um, but that was something that had it indeed crossed my mind. But then, but then it doesn't seem likely because Mion had done all that crazy stuff in the past. Mion, what is this? シオンだけが爪を剥がされるなんて<笑>かわいそうすぎるんだもんシオンがね私シオンとサトシ<笑>だってシオンばっかりいつもかわいそうで<笑>私たちは同じ双子なのになんでシオンばっかりいつも差別されて<笑>私ねバッチャにねとなって言ったんだよシオンとサトシをそそしたらけじめをつけたら見逃そうだからねちゃんとシオンが頑張ったからなのにこんなのひどいよ<笑><笑> Stop calling it a demon unless you actually have a demon inside of you. I don't get so angry that I'm like, there's a demon inside of me and it started strangling my friend. Like, that, like don't say that. Just say you got angry. Because now, now I'm suspicious. Okay. Alright, so putting everything together. We're, we're putting things together. It's, that's, that's a really good, that's, that's really good to know.、Um, and the reason why that's really good to know, that they don't know anything about it. Assuming that this, uh, uh, taking this at face value for a hundred percent fact, granted, this game has an atrocious track record of saying things and then kind of being like, Well, maybe, or maybe it's n maybe they do know, you know, so they could just like in two seconds turn it around and be like, They definitely know. But assuming that the Sonazaki family does not know about anything, that leaves. Who does that leave? What does that leave? That leaves Rena? If we're looking at everything objectively. I'm trying to think. I know that they're. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. So I'm like brainstorming as I'm like sitting here in silence. 
the, I, I know that they're a Yakuza family, so it would, would make sense that they, like, killed people and, you know, did crazy stuff like that, which is fine, and it's easy to point fingers at things, but it's really good to know that they don't know anything about it, because that means that the people that might have committed it now have, have reduced significantly. Granted, granted, we look at... This doesn't make any sense. It, it doesn't make any sense, because if you look at the other stories... It just doesn't make sense because the Mion, obviously, 100% in the first one was with Rena, ready to go ham. Unless Rena, Rena is a supernatural being that like takes over people, which I could believe, but that would mean that she's a demon and that there are demons in this game. <laughs> so, um... And it seems like Rena can read thoughts. So, you know, if anybody's going to be the demon in this situation, it's going to be Rena. But th that's what I'm saying is it doesn't make... I'm sorry, I'm brainstorming so much. I'll just continue. Convinced that it was the Sonazaki family. Me and denied it while shedding tears. Between me, her and me, her tears were more convincing. So I believe it. it absolutely wasn't the Sonazaki family that made him disappear. Freaking what's her name does? Rena. You could also make the argument, and um, a very weak one at that, I, I just want to say it as we're continuing here, because I'm not going to stop, but you... Keep it she on. You're going to... Rena's name is Reyna, right? Reyna was before she was taken over by the demon, and Rena's is the demon, and that's kind of what's going on. But I, the only reason I don't think that that's the case is because obviously she's, uh, Mion and her are together, or, and Rena are together in the first one. Um, in one of the episodes, um, you obviously sense a demon inside of thing, and she even says to you, uh, don't talk to me because I'm not going to be the same person. I may have the same body, but I'm not the same person. Like, that doesn't make any sense unless there's demons. So the demons... You don't have any. You don't have to remind me. I can hear his voice. I know he's mumbling with an ambivalent expression, like he always used to. Even though he knows help won't come, I'll help him no matter what. I'll save him if he's alive. I'll avenge him if he's dead. But Mion didn't do it. He just wanted to take it out on somebody. It doesn't matter who. But I'm Shion, not a demon. You're only a part of me. Don't try to take control. Fuck off. Don't ever show up again. Okay. Demon faded away. My body went limp and I fell to the floor while holding me on. There's demons. If I if I assign demons to this whole story, it all works out. Cause I can just be like, that's magic. You you know, demons can read minds. Uh that happens because they possess that body. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Everything makes sense. Everything's so easy to explain, which is why it's so hard for me to accept that that is the case, even though I've been suggesting it this entire time. Is, is it just... seems too obvious. ほんとに。ほんとに。ほんとに。ほんとに。ほんとに。ほんとに。ほんとに。ほんとに。ほんとに。ほんとに。ほんとに。ほんとに。ほんとに。ほんとに。ほんとに。ほんとに。ほんと
Is Oyashiro watched over Oyashiro Sama watched over them? Mihan. Shihan. Satoshi kun. Demons, humans. Oyashiro Sama's curse, the mysterious series of mysterious deaths. Satoshi kun's disappearance. We fell asleep while holding you. That's not a good idea. Mm-mm. That's not a good idea. That's a terrible idea. Guaranteed. Here's my prediction. I know I talked a lot this episode. Jesus Christ, I talked a lot. Um, I apologize. Um, ooh, wow. We might actually read those before we take off today. Um, I don't know how long those are, but they've been pretty short in the past. So, so I, I mean, Mion did the same thing to her fingers. Does it mean anything to me? No, I don't think so. Other than they might have gotten the tattoo wrong. I mean, but does that matter? I mean, it seems like it's very much a split personality thing that happens whenever a demon takes you over. Because um, with Keiichi, it, it was very much like, I am no longer me. I have elevated to the next plane, and now I'm a demon, right? Um, with this, it was kind of like I was arguing with another part of myself in there a little bit. Um, like, demon, don't ever come off or come back. Fuck off. It's like, what? Okay. Um, so there's a lot of stuff. Okay, let's read the tips before I go on a, another tangent and rampage about everything. What's going on? Notebook page 50. I saw Mio Takano a few times after that. At her core, she was fascinated with the bazaar, and she had an insatiable curiosity that was just as strong. I have to remind myself not to take her story too seriously. Otherwise... Might start believing that Satoshi Kun disappeared because of the curse. She talks about the dark history of Hinamizawa a lot. It's all very interesting. Her theories are based on nothing but conjecture, but some of her intuition covers facts that only members of Sono the Sonozaki family would know. She thinks that Oyashiro-sama's curse is the continuation of those ancient of these ancient rituals. In other words, she believes that the curse is performed by religious fanatics. According to her theory, a religious cult once existed in Namizawa, and the three families stemmed from it. She believes that they are operating behind the scenes to revive the dignity of the Onigafuchi people, which was lost during the Meiji era. Mio-san's theories are far-reaching, and looking at them on a larger scale, they end up making a lot of sense. But they can't offer any explanation for Satoshi-kun's disappearance when using them on a smaller one. Her theories are just too broad. Okay, 64. Jumping pages here. I exchange information with Oishi every now and then. We each expect new leads from each other, but none of us had any luck. I no longer believe that the tip that Satoshi Kun... I no longer believe the tip that Satoshi Kun might have headed to Tokyo. It was clearly bogus anyway. Although, I can't befriend Oishi. He's been fair about the deal. He alone has been serious about uncovering any new information. Oishi's sources are quite reliable, so whenever I found some dubious tip, I check with him to see if it was valid. My meetings with him have diminished in frequency, but since he's been assigned to new cases, eventually we stopped meeting entirely. Oishi stopped investigating, and I reached the limits of my sources of information. People now think that Satoshi Kun's disappearance was a supernatural phenomenon called demoning away. In Hinamizawa, they refer to this, his disappearance as him having transferred. And nobody will talk about it otherwise. I don't like the way that phrase is used to erase him. I'm going to read. During the upheaval surrounding Oyashiro Sama's curse in 1982, I was pulled this way and this way and that by new leads on Satoshi Kun's disappearance. Uh, every time I found information that looked promising, I kept changing th my theories, but that also became an incredible burden on me. It wore down plenty on its own. The fatigue was harsh, but it also provided a kind of a very kind of accept wait, a very kind of acceptance. Bit by bit, it soothed away the anger, sadness, and doubt that had worn me down. I'll never forget Satoshi Kun. I'll never try to forget him and move on. I constantly repeated those to myself in my head. 
I repeated them to keep my memories of Satoshi Kun fading to over and over. For the sake of my fun memories of Satoshi Kun, together with my fear, my sadness, I repeated them forever and ever. Okay, um, uh, that's where we're gonna end it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, geez, so we, I mean, I've I've already talked about it kind of a little bit during the middle of the episode, but it's just like, what, I mean, what are you gonna do, really? Uh, uh, demons, like I said, demons would explain everything. So hard to explain. Um, everything just as people, and it would be way easy just to be like, boom, demon. You're a demon. Even if Rena was the only demon we're talking about here. Let's say it's a whole charade, right? Um, Sonazakis don't actually know anything, right? Like, they're actually out of the loop. Uh, even though they have a torture basement and are able to kill people. Let's just assume that they don't know anything. The only one that we don't have a lead on, the only one that we don't know very well, I guess we don't know Rika very well. Yeah, we do. We do. We don't know Rika very well only because we don't know why she can tell the future. That's that's the problem, right? Um, she seems like she has a split personality as well. Like that maybe she has a demon. Why are all these demons split personalities? Um, it seems like Rena kind of has one of those. And whenever you mention Satoshi-kun around uh, Rena, she gets that creepy face. That, like, maybe she knows something. Um, but there's not really much information on Rena at all. So that's interesting. Um, so the culprits pretty much are um, figuring out why Rika knows everything. Or, or Rika could be a culprit. She could just be evil. You never know, because she knows everything that's going to happen. Maybe she's the one committing all the murders and they're just people just protecting her. Um, when they said enemy traitor, dissident, uh, relative traitor, friend of traitor, or when I said friend of traitor, um, town kill... That brought up an interesting point on the one with Satoko, where the whole town died. Um, I mean, it just kind of makes sense if you're kind of listing them out like that. That that would be how it would work. But I don't understand why that would be the case. Does that make sense? It's like, I understand getting someone that disagrees with you. But then the relative of the traitor, um, when the relative of the traitor has been an ally... Like, it's weird. Are you condemned by the actions of your previous person? Is that how that works? Is that why that works that way? Is, like, even if you try to be, like, an outstanding citizen and follow all the rules because your parent was not of a certain thinking, that maybe you were also not of a certain thinking? And if that's the case, why wouldn't Satoko die? When we look at Satoko as a whole, um, Satoko we know a lot about as far as, like, she has, like, a mental illness, obviously, because she's been abused. Um, but we don't know why she survived the town gassing. Um, in that one episode that she was in where the town got gassed. Basically, it was like everybody died and Satoko vanished. And Satoko left. Um, where is Satoko? Why did she leave? How did she not die like everybody else? How did I not die as Keiichi with everybody else? And was able to ramble on about stories and stuff. How was I able to do that? Um, and you would think that Satoko would be found up somewhere. Um, she couldn't have gotten far unless she's just not a thing. Um, maybe Satoko's the real twist. Uh, but that, that kind of caught me off guard when that happened. Um, so I don't know. Uh, if we're taking... I'm trying to take the Sonazakis out of the, out of the picture because it was so clear to me that maybe... Um, Rena was like kind of their subordinate and Rena was doing the murders for the Sonozaki family who had ordered it. If that's not the case, then Rena's just acting as a lone agent for Oyashiro Sama and she's probably the one that murdered the construction worker. But, 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 uh, there's the term demon, demoning away. If we say, if we say that Rena is a demon, right? Uh, like I said, putting someone in a demon role explains the whole story let me just let me just you know it, it does it explains the whole story because if rena is a demon and it seems like in the previous things uh they they make a point to say that whenever rena's around and she's like being creepy and she's about to kill you or something um the world like changes and like you don't hear the higurashi anymore or some shit sometimes um you don't like 
there's like different stuff that changes and it's like oh the air is different or oh blah 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 maybe she has a dimension and it would also explain if she has like a dimension that she can go to and kind of drop people off and just have them trapped in that dimension forever that would make sense as to why people get demoned away that would make sense as to why people get murdered um because she could just murder uh have somebody murder somebody by putting like thoughts in their head or some shit it doesn't make sense why we experienced what we experienced as keichi when we were killing the uncle that that's that's a weird thing that needs to be explained is how the demon how like the voice or you because you feel someone behind you at all times and isn't that weird but that's like some supernatural shit assuming that rena can be supernatural and kind of follow you that makes sense um ren is the culprit if the sonozakis are truly not thing my prediction is that ren is the culprit just because we don't know anything about her and they could apply literally jack shit on rena and i would believe it like 100 i believe i've said this before but um we don't have enough information we just have that she left the school so it would make a whole lot of sense if she was the culprit of, of everything um it would not make sense as to why rika knows everything Rika's a soothsayer for no reason. There's a lot of stuff that's not explained that I would need explained to me. Um, but Retta being the culprit and a demon kind of makes perfect sense. You know? If if you put Rena as the demon, you could explain everything in the story just off of that. So that's that's kind of why I'm leaning towards that. And I know I've been just repeating myself over and over again, but it's just... For so long, I was kind of like, oh, well, the Sonozaki family is probably at the head of this. And, I mean, that's what they've been hinting, but nobody really knows. And the twist is going to be that um, there's a demon controlling the Sonozaki family. And it was even more reinforced by that one episode where Mion was like, oh, my body's going to change. It happened when you didn't buy me that teddy bear. Blah, blah, blah. My demon awoken. Sorry, there's nothing you can do. Don't talk to me again because my body's not going to be my body. It's going to be someone else's body. Sure. Whatever. I got killed. I got killed because of that. I was. I trusted my gut, and obviously she was not her. And something happened. And dead people were walking around. And Oishi was like, "Well, if she's dead, then we got dead people walking all over. It doesn't make any sense." And uh, that would all be explained if there was a demon possessing people. Saying or like a shapeshifter. That would make sense. That would make sense. Demons can shapeshift. I don't know. I'm going to end it here. I'm going to stop spewing my theories all over you. Um, <laughs> that was the weirdest way to put that. I apologize. Um, I don't know what... Um, I don't know what else to say, really. Uh, obviously, there's still more chapters, right? Like, this isn't the only answer chapter. This is just one of, of a couple. So... Um, obviously we're only getting part of the story here and there's some stuff that they're saving for the end to kind of reveal as we go. But as far as right now, my, my prediction, if you guys want to know where I stand, Ren is the one behind everything. She's the one that started it. She's the one that did it. The three families stemmed from that um, movement that Rena created or uh, when she was there, when she left, she became Reyna. Reyna was a good girl, but then um, they, for some reason, had like got her back by giving, having the demon infect her or something again. Uh, maybe it, we don't know much about her parents either. Like where are her parents from? We haven't met her parents. We've talked to her parents over the phone, um, but that's not the same as seeing her parents. So um, who knows who her parents even are, or if she has parents? We just assume that she had parents. Anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, so please hit the like button. I really appreciate it. Also, subscribe if you haven't done so already. There's lots of visual novel and... Did I save here? Yeah. Lots of visual novel and roguelike content uh, on the channel. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.